I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out this Atlantic sea nettle. Going on with today's science file. Today's science file. Yes! What are Nidarians? Well, it's a great question. Uh, try this. Okay, there's a matter of importance we gotta talk about here before we go any further. Sea jellies are not fish, okay? They don't have fins. They don't have scales, okay? They don't even have a backbone. In fact, they don't even have a brain like fish have. Well, you gotta stop calling them jelly fish, okay? Because they are absolutely not fish. You gotta start calling them sea jellies. Sea jellies, people. Okay, I am gonna model the Pacific sea nettle. So the first thing you wanna start with is an umbrella. <laughs> Now the Pacific sea nettle is not black, so I went ahead and got some cloth. And what I'm going to do is cover over the entire umbrella. Here we go. Start by cutting tiny holes into the cloth and hooking it over the eight spokes of the umbrella. And then secure it to the umbrella using tape. Cut off any excess cloth. I'm using some 2 mil plastic that I've pre-cut to give the sea nettle a more jelly look. Poke the spokes through the plastic and secure the plastic to the umbrella using some tape. Make sure to secure it under the umbrella as well. Now get yourself red ribbon. You're going to cut 24 three and a half meter long strips of ribbon. So we can make, you know, the sea jelly's testic tentacles. <laughs> I mean, uh, tentacles. Yeah, yeah, tentacles. <laughs> Now attach the ribbon to each of the eight spokes of the umbrella by tying it on. Then attach two ribbons in between each of the spokes using tape so that you get a total of 24 ribbons. Now you're going to get yourself three and a half meters of this white garland and you're going to attach four of these to the bottom of your umbrella. Now check it out, it's a scale model of a C nut. That is so wicked cool. Oh, by the way, the wicked coolest part about this model is it doesn't just look like a sea nettle, it also moves like one. Here, check this out. That's so wicked cool. And you know what they say? It's not just the model, it's the motion in the ocean. <laughs> so, what are Nidarians? And how does the sea jelly anatomy work? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look. At this. Nidarians are a group of simple invertebrate animals that live in water and use microscopic stinging structures for food and defense. Nidarians have been on the earth for 580 million years and evolved from primitive sponges. The most common Nidarians include animals such as corals, hydras, sea anemones, Portuguese man-of-war, and sea jellies. Sea jellies consist of a bell, which is pretty much just sex organs, a mouth, and a stomach that digest food and excretes waste through the mouth. Sea jellies also have tentacles, which contain thousands of microscopic pneumatocysts, which is a coiled up tube and barb projectile which shoots out at anything that touches each tentacle. Some pneumatocysts contain venom that can kill even a human, like the box jelly, which is the most venomous animal on the planet. Some sea jellies also have oral arms, which help them to move food towards the mouth to be swallowed. The Portuguese man of war is not a sea jelly, but actually a group of Nidarians that evolved to work together. Although in the wild, some Pacific sea nettles can get as big as our model being one meter in diameter, most Pacific sea nettles don't get any bigger than 30 to 50 centimeters in diameter. The largest sea jelly on Earth is the lion's mane, which has a bell of two and a half meters in diameter and tentacles that would stretch the length of over two school buses. So now you know more about Nidarians. You know, making a sea jelly model is why science is so cool. <laughs>